Hello all of you. My name is Riyaz Sheikh. I am an architect and also founder of RS Architects and Interiors. Today we will talk about BR exam pattern which is also called Mains Paper 2. So basically we will be given three segments which is Mathematics, Drawing and Aptitude. For Mathematics you will be given 30 questions in which 20 will be multiple choice questions and 10 will be numerical answer questions. In those 30 questions, you will have to attempt 25, which means in numerical answer questions, which are 10, you have to only attempt 5. So each question is of 4 marks with negative marking, which is of minus 1. So which concludes to 25 questions into 4 marks for 100 marks in total. Now when it comes to aptitude, you will be given 50 questions and in which you will have to attempt all the questions. There is no choice in this with each question of 4 marks and minus 1 for each wrong answer. In drawing, you will be given 2 questions, each question with 50 marks and which totals to 100. So mathematics, 25 questions into 4 marks totals to 100. Aptitude, 50 questions into 4 marks totals to 200 and drawing two questions each 50 marks totals to 100 so total question paper is of 400 marks so with negative marking of minus one for a wrong answer now we'll talk about what is the syllabus how to prepare for BIARC for BIARC mathematics exam it is helpful for you to learn the same exam pattern you follow for J Mains paper 1 because the questions and the syllabus is entirely similar for the BR and J Mains paper 1 and paper 2 maybe the standard and the and the difficulty of the questions might vary from Mains paper 1 and paper 2 but the syllabus will be the same coming to aptitude you should prepare topics like famous architects famous buildings building construction, building materials, color theory, architectural terms, sun path. For drawing questions, you have to start preparing for at least one, one and a half year before the date of the exam. For this, you need to master your skills in understanding the object, observing object and sketching them as it is. So, which usually happens from practicing something called live sketching you need to put you need to sketch some objects at your home uh, wherever you go whatever you see you can click a picture of it or you can just sit there and sketch with pencil or whatever you have with you the right way to do it is always being observant of objects understanding their geometry and sketching them on your paper as fast as possible and also mastering your shading skills you will be given two questions in the drawing segment the first question will be a portrait or a sketch which which is already given in the question paper and you have to sketch it as it is on your answer sheet and the second question will be imaginary based question which goes like for example you are the person sitting in a coffee shop with your friends you can see a glass door in front of you and you can see outdoor seating with few more people and you can also see a waiter coming towards you with food in his hand. So you have to imagine this view as if you're sitting in a chair and as described in the question you should draw every each and element they mentioned in the question you can add the more the more details you add the more it will look good and the more it is proportional the more it is easier for you to score marks like i said you should uh, you should practice something called live sketching every time you go out with your friends or family try to observe try to take a small book with you and a pencil and try to sketch whatever you see in front of you in perspective so for drawing questions you need to master something called one point perspective so perspectives are many types one point perspective two point perspective three point perspective four point perspective multiple point perspective this entirely depends upon what is the question and where you are sitting and what is the view this the questions like this will only be answered with good sketching skills and this happens only with the help of perspectives 
no matter how much you learn whoever teaches you if you do not practice this day to day this will be very hard for you to crack your exam so learn shading try to master perspectives which is the only technique you should need for understanding imaginary view questions so i will try to post how to prepare for drawing exam how to prepare for aptitude test thank you all the best